the kinds of common liver diseases out there are viral factors such as hepatitis C that's gotten a lot of press recently, uh, hepatitis B, there may be an uh, increasing problem with fatty liver disease or what's called NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. This is uh, part of the symptoms uh, that can manifest from obesity, which is increasing in the American population. There can also be genetic disorders with iron overload. That's actually a very common genetic disease in Caucasians in particular. There may be autoimmune things. So we know about rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. Similar processes can affect the liver. I think it's very important to listen to the patient, to try and uh, hone in on the symptoms they might be telling you, and that may tailor the evaluation accordingly. Uh, it first involves blood tests, and the liver enzymes may be abnormal, which can then lead to more advanced steps, such as an ultrasound or progressively more sophisticated steps. The treatments are exciting in that they're advancing at a very rapid pace. For instance, in hepatitis C, we have uh, medications that are already available and some that will soon be available that have the ability to cure almost everyone. We also have uh, very effective therapies for hepatitis B, for autoimmune processes, and in some of the genetic disorders, as long as they're diagnosed, we know what to do there. But unfortunately, many of people who have gone unrecognized already have advanced liver disease and will end up needing a liver transplant. A patient who is referred for a liver transplant has a standard set of lab values done. In, those variables are used to calculate the MELD score, which stands for the Model for End-Stage Liver Disease. There are three blood tests that are then used to calculate a number. The higher the patient's number, the more priority they receive for a liver transplant. It means that their condition is more advanced than for others. So it's a very objective way of prioritizing who is sickest and most in need of a transplant. If someone has the diagnosis of liver diseases, they would be well served by coming to UPMC. We have the Center for Liver Diseases, which can handle anything from a mild abnormality all the way to more complex cases. If someone does need a liver transplant, then the Thomas Starzl Transplant Institute has a worldwide reputation. This is the place where liver transplant was initiated and perfected. All the immunosuppressive drugs that we use in the field were really thought of and perfected here.